One of the most frequently asked questions that I receive is if you order an add-on disc or maybe you have a disc at home that you want to add on to a necklace. Like, how do I get it on here? Because with our necklaces, most of you want to just slide your disc onto the end here. But because we need to use a decent sized jump ring here so that it doesn't break easily, we also use a really dainty jump ring on our pendants. So as you see here, it will not go in there. If I used a bigger size jump ring on this one, then um, it would just make your disc look bulkier and it would hang down farther from your chain, making it look a little bit weird. So that's why we use this size jump ring, but unfortunately it just will not slide on your chain. It's great when your disc is on, because as you see here, it will not fall off. So you don't have to deal with that. But if you want to add something new, you're like, what do I do? So you have two options. One, you are always welcome to send your jewelry back to me to add on discs. But if you're wanting to do it from home, all you need are two pairs of pliers. I have needle nose jewelers pliers, but any pliers you have around your house, as long as you are really gentle and careful will work. So you just need two pliers and you just need to know how to open up this jump ring here. So um, these jump rings do have a little, what I would call like a slit. Um, you can kind of see it there. You shouldn't be able to see it well. You're gonna have to really twist your jump ring to find it and look for it. There, you can kind of see it. But because you want this as flush as possible and as close together as possible, um, it can be hard to find sometimes. Because if there's a big gap there, your disc could either slide through it and you're gonna lose your disc or your chain could slide through it losing your entire necklace so super easy though once you find that little slit there that's what i call it a little slit you're going to put your pliers on each side of it so like this Oops, sorry it's hard to see it's really tiny so one plier on this side and one plier on this side of it and then you're just going to twist it see how i kind of twisted it away from each other to open it up. You do not want to pull this way. Do not pull out. Um, you are gonna weaken your jump ring, causing it to fall off of, you know, your disc to fall off of that. So once that's open on there, all you need to do is slide your chain down in there like that. Put your plier on that other side again, like that. And then kind of gently, did you hear that click? that's when you know it's closed. It doesn't always click though. So sometimes you have to kind of, um, I'll show you again. So I'm gonna open it by twisting it. And sometimes you have to kind of wiggle it together a couple times. See how I'm just really gently wiggling it together until that is completely closed there. And then you know that your new disc is on nice and properly. Um, there you have it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about how to add on your disc and I am more than happy to help.